Then I created this really pretty autumnal makeup look. I love how it turned out. But there were so many things that went wrong in this tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Okay, guys, so let's get started. I've got on my eyebrows. I used something brand new today from Iconic London. I've got this scent in the post here. It's a really cool product. I thought, let me just quickly show you what I use. It really gave me some snatched eyebrows. Yeah. It's in like a little sponge kind of form. It reminds me of like the BB cushions that's really big in like Korea, but in the eyebrow form. Genius, I call it London. Yes, I like it. I use the shade Deep. So we're going to be doing like a really bronzy, autumn inspired look. So I'm going to start off this brand new product here. This is from Colourpop and it's called the Supernova Hard to Impress. I was really inspired to do this look by this product right here and I just received it this morning so I was like let me film with this It's the most amazing feeling when you get something new in the post you're like so excited to film something you know They have loads of different shades but I really like this coppery kind of shade it looks really really pretty And that these are very similar to the Stila Magnificent Liquid Metals You know everyone went crazy over them but I felt like the colours were so limited So Colourpop has some similar to that and it's like a cream eyeshadow with like glitter running through it super pretty it looks like there's like a doe foot applicator. That's just this corn cocoa in the background. So pretty, yes. I'm just gonna quickly put in my contact lenses because I feel like this look would be nice with a bit of a brighter eye. So it's still gonna be brown, it's like a hazel type colour. It's called caramel brown from Desio. I'm gonna quickly put that in, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I just put in my contact lenses. So we'll start with putting this all over the eyes. It's my first time using it, so hopefully it comes out nice and doesn't crumble off. I'm just whacking it all over my eyelid. Okay, I'm going to use my MAC 234 brush. Any synthetic blending brush. Just to fade out the edges of this eyeshadow thing. I think it's very similar to the Magnificent Metals. I think it's not as glittery. I'm going to try to lay it up again and see if it actually like crumbles up and stuff. Because sometimes I find with like liquid eyeshadows, they crumble AF. Especially when they have like a lot of glitter in it, it goes really horrible and crumbly. So I'm literally like working this all over my eyelid and then I'm blending up the edges so it's not like a harsh line. Mm, it's actually really pretty on camera, it looks almost like wet on my eyelid. The reason why I really love liquid eyeshadows is because I can literally whack it on and it looks like I spent a long time on my makeup even though I haven't. It's one of those makeups that you can literally use to change your whole look. So if you want to go for like daytime to nighttime really really quickly, these are like perfect. I love the steel ones but they're so expensive at like £23 for one of them and they're always out of stock as well in selfies whenever I go in there they only have like, the rubbish colours we try to find golden goddess for a long time it's always out of stock is it just me or I feel like when I have different coloured contacts in I feel like every single makeup look looks more striking I feel like my boring normal natural eye colour is so boring and it doesn't make anything pop you know I only like brown eyes when it comes to wearing blue eyeshadow and I don't know why that is because I feel like blue eyeshadow is so bright and the brown eyes kind of complement it. So I really like my eyes even just like this but I feel like I need a transition shade So I got this delivered to my house the other day I showed it in my PR unboxing video But this is from Inglot And it says it's a freedom palette So I don't know if you can actually buy this palette pre-made But you can literally see these kind of tones So you can see like any other eyeshadow palettes will have these kind of tones Like the Jack and Hill Morphe palette is quite similar These are just five eyeshadows And in Inglot you can literally pick out the shades that you want in the palette There's you like big size palettes, you do palettes of three Three pads of two. This is like five. I had to count it quickly. But you can make big palettes, small palettes, but it's really nice because it's customizable. I got sent this collection. I thought it was really pretty for autumn. So I'm gonna go in with these two shades here. I literally have no idea what the freaking shades are called. How do I find out? No idea, but it's no idea. But any orangey shade and any kind of brown warmy shade. Okay, I'm gonna use the Morphe M511. It's like a big fluffy wide brush. I love autumn colours because it always reminds me of like really warm is it pumpkin spice lattes. Is that what everyone drinks? Oh yeah, that's so pretty. It makes it look like a sunset. I always looks like this literally all year round. I don't even feel like autumn's anything that special, but it's like a good excuse to wear like the warm browns, the dark lip. I'm literally just going round and round in circles and I'm going a bit higher when I have less product on the brush. So once I put product on my eyes i put it at the same spot all the time so i always start in like this outer corner bit because i want this bit to be the most smoky and then when i go up higher there's less product on my brush now okay so just a little observation now that i'm doing my eyeshadow i feel like it's starting to crumble a little bit certain bits here 
it's starting to like crumble off so that's a bit annoying i might have to go in another layer after because it'll be like all patchy if i don't okay i'm going to quickly do the same on the other eye okay guys major t major update while i'm doing this eye can you see oh bitch the crumble is real literally there's like a trail of crumbs all underneath my eyes it's so disgusting so i am not very impressed guys i'm actually very annoyed i think if you are gonna purchase these eyeshadows because they are so pretty i would say do all the transition stuff first and then just finish off whatever you want the extra bling bling you know i should have done that i normally do my transition shade first i don't know why i've done this first and then my transition shade with a sealer was i could put this on and then blend on top of it with an eyeshadow that's what you get for paying cheaper you know i guess <laughs> i'm gonna go in with this shade here i have no idea what this color is like a dark browny maroony kind of color i'm gonna put this into the crease give it a bit more depth Okay, so I really want to use this blank canvas one, but as you guys can see, it's got blue inside of the freaking brush. So I can't be mixing it because it's always going to have that blue tint. So I'm going to quickly wash it. And I've got a new invention thing that I received recently. I've been using it so much and I love it. So here it is. It's from Style Pro. And this is like the pro version, but you can buy the normal version, which doesn't come with this bottom bit. It's basically exactly the same thing. But this one has a single bottom where you can change out the liquid by like dumping it out like this i use this literally like yesterday so it's still got the, like, the liquid from yesterday but when you buy it it comes with like little sachets but you can also buy the cleanser with it so this is the makeup cleanser here i'm just gonna put a little bit inside of the style pro which, oh shit i just dropped the lid in but okay <laughs> So just a little bit because obviously this is like a small brush and with this invention it comes with like different attachments so like some of them you can even spin like eight brushes at one time but i find with that the brushes that you can use is really really small i'm just gonna quickly try to show you on camera because i've done it on my instagram tutorials but i haven't done one on youtube but i need to use this brush anyway so i thought i'll just show you quickly so it comes with all these different attachments and it can basically clean 90 percent of like all different brushes by all these different handles so you want to try to find one that fits your brush in it so i've used a 7.5 millimeter what you call it i don't know what it's fucking called you stick it in here like that and then you just press the button it comes with batteries and it starts spinning the brush I've got so many comments about that. Like, does it ruin your brush? Does it ruin your brush? It doesn't ruin your brush. I don't know why pretend people think that. So the guy from The Apprentice made this invention. And he has like 11 sisters or something crazy like that. But he was saying that so many women were complaining about cleaning makeup brushes. So this cleans and dries your brush in like 60 seconds. Like super quick. The only thing I would say is that when you've got like loads of brushes to clean, that's when it's long. What I do is I go and wash my brushes like in the shower with me. So because I have so many brushes, I wash them when I'm in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> two bears one stone you know and then afterwards the ones that i really want to use quickly i'll put them on this and i'll dry it and it dries instantly it's so good okay so basically you dunk it inside the solution so this solution is really good because it dries instantly so you don't have to use water with it you don't mix it with anything and it takes out like foundation lip glosses and stuff like that okay, so i've dunked it in and now i'm going to spin it and it basically like fans out all the water and everything and you kind of keep it here for like 30 seconds well, I literally sometimes I just like check to see if it's dry. If it's not dry, then I'll freaking like dry a bit more. It's really simple. This also has two settings as well. Yes, it's all dry now. Look, there's no residue in the brush. It's so cool, guys. Honestly, I and normally solutions get really, really oily. This one is not oily at all, but it gets rid of that foundation super quick. So I literally keep this liquid here. I know it sounds disgusting, but I ain't gonna chuck this away. You know, I'll use a couple more brushes. Let's use. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this dark burgundy shade and i'm gonna mix maybe these two together so i pick into these eyeshadows i literally just tap them off okay, these are gonna go on my outer corner here get that shit smoking just right on the outer corner like a v kind of shape and what this does it kind of creates the illusion of that you have a really deep crease i literally go like back and forth i'm literally like smoking it like really hardcore out i'm so regretful that i use that freaking shade on my lid first because now it's literally crumbling everywhere the more and more i blend it's just crumbling on my cheek <laughs> the videos are fail guys okay so i'm just gonna keep working up this eyeshadow until i'm happy with how smug it is so basically what you want to do is you just want to literally make it as dark as you want so the more times you go back in with more eyeshadow the darker and darker it is if you want it to be lighter then you just blend it out a bit more of the lighter shade but you just want to keep it mainly on the outer corners and then slowly bring it in so it starts to fade into that transition shade really nicely don't forget to go back and forth with your transition shade to keep blending out because you don't want to create like a harsh line Okay, so I just blended up all my eyeshadow and literally I am crumbling away as we speak and it's horrible. I keep having to scoop my 
looking cheeks. If you're one of those people that you get a lot of fallout and when you sweep it away, it like kind of like goes cack. You need to make sure you powder your under eyes really well. If your under eyes or your cheeks open, it's really, really sticky. Bitch, when you're sweeping that, it's going to smear everywhere. Because I powdered that really, really well, whenever I sweep, it's not leaving like a smear or anything like this. It's literally like laying on the top surface and I'm just like, whoop. Sweep it in very, very lightly. I'm going to do under my eyes here and then I'm going to do this last. But it's just so horrible and patchy right now. So I got this eyeliner sent over from Inglot as well. It's called number 65. It's the AMC gel eyeliner. So what I do is I don't peel off the whole thing. I literally just peel off like half of it. So I keep the foil still on there. Because I want to keep these eyeliners as fresh as possible. Especially when it's kind of like this that I'm not going to use all the time. So I'm using this really, really tiny royal and lanical brush. It's called the Mini Smudge C. 435 brush. It's a really, really little mini, mini blender. So it's really good for underneath the eyes. And I'm going to go in the gel eyeliner. Just a few dabs. It's really, really creamy. So don't underestimate how far these creamy eyelines can go. So I'm going to pull down my lower lid with my false nail. And then I'm going to draw on the lash line. Because I use like a fluffy kind of brush, it's not going to create like a harsh line. It's going to slowly like blend out underneath my eyes as well. Oh my god, it's blending out so far. You kind of like blend out the edge, but it keeps going further and further out. It's probably like all the way down to my chin. I remember the first time I used something on my water, like, it was so ticklish I could never handle it. But now I'm like so used to it now. Some people have to be very careful when you use like these kind of ready tones around your eye. Especially if you've got like light eyes. If you've got like blue or green like really bright eyes. A lot of people get really sensitive to purples and colours with anything with pink on it. A lot of people are sensitive to it or their eyes will start streaming. If you don't have this colour you can also use like a dark lip liner around your eye because this kind of is quite a weird color like you wouldn't really have this normally in your collection so you can create this look still by using like a lip liner that is like the same kind of tone okay so now i'm going to put the foil back over and then push it down so it seals it back up again keep this fresh don't want to get fresh that fresh fresh Okay, we'll use a blank canvas E24 brush. It's like a flat shader brush. It's a very good dupe of the MAC 239 brush. And I'm just going to go back in with these shades here. And then just literally go on top of that gel eyeliner. Just to make sure it's really smudgy. Because it looks quite blocky at the moment. You know, you want it to be really black like, airbrushed and smooth. And really dark by the roots. But then fade into back into your skin tone. Like really smooth. That like, graduation. Okay, so I literally, I just took the same blending shade at the top. So like this orangey kind of shade. And I literally just blend it at the bottom with a bit more of a fluffy brush so that it kind of connects to the top so it gets really really like smoky all the way around and that's how you make your eyes look really intense when you have the same transition shade on the top as well as the bottom so now i don't know if you can see look this has like no more of that freaking shade on there that was literally fail so disappointing but i'm going to try one more time i'm going to let you try one more time if you disappoint me you're going in the bin <laughs> so i'm going to go right on top now of all that crusty crust and see if it goes on okay i'm gonna blend this on the outer corners just here and just blend it in tap it in with my finger so it's not like a harsh line go up a little bit higher so it's not like a cut crease if you do want to create a cut crease it's really simple to do because it has like a harsh edge already maybe we might even keep this into a cut crease i think that's a bit easier for us so much better look it looks a bit more glossy again okay let's turn this into a cut crease so i'm just using the edge of this special applicator to carve it out so it's almost like a concealer with glitter hey definitely use this after guys we've learned something new today just to define the cut crease a bit more i'm going to use a glitter eyeliner i'm going to try using this pinky one this is called junk show from urban decay i'm just going to rest my little pinky finger and i'm going to carve out the line so it has a bit more of like the obvious cut crease right on here i think if you use a gold one it will look nice as well look Oh no, I don't want that. Now. Oh no! I'm ruining the smokiness. I dragged it too far. Okay, same on the other eye. Okay, so just on the inner corners, just here, I feel like I need to brighten it up a bit. I'm going to use this glitter from Lip Cosmetics called Spark. I do have a discount code with Lip Cosmetics, which I will link down below in the description. I'm just going to use a bit of their glue and I'm going to use it on the inner corners here. Okay, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of that Spark. I'm using a Smith 230 brush. Alright, oh dear. Alright, in the sweet spot on the inner corners. And you want this to be kind of like dispersed. So you don't want it to just be like a big chunk and that's it. You want it to almost be blended the glitter. Yes, you have to blend your glitter as well, guys. That is the gee gee. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. So we like this because it has like a reflex of like 
pink, red, green. It's almost like a little bit of fire on the inner corners of your eyes. Okay, I'm going to apply some eyeliner and a mascara now. So let's go in with an eyeliner. Guys, this Colourpop eyeshadow is still crumbling. It's like crumble city up in here. Like maybe the apple crumble cake or some shit. I'm not liking this. Love the colour. Like if I just say that this would be great, but your dog's gonna blink, you know. From Bare Minerals, I'm gonna do my waterline. I'm gonna like smudge it out and do like a smoky eyeliner. So this is round the clock midnight pencil from Bare Minerals. Girl, this is blood AF. I need to sharpen this me. This is the best sharpener ever, it's the bourgeois one. Gets everything so sharp. And so we go right in my waterline right here. This thing is right in my water and then also my top lash line as well. It really helps when the pencil is really sharp because you can get really precise. What I find with pencils, sometimes not precise and then it gets everywhere, which is so annoying. So you need to find a good sharpener, guys. Okay, guys, I think I just need to go and pop this with a liquid eyeliner because it keeps crumbling the ColourPop eyeshadow underneath this. So when I'm putting on the pencil, I'm trying to like push it on but then it keeps crumbling and deep so then the pencil crumbles off guys this is starting to piss me off now i'm like this fucking color pop eyeshadow thing is like freaking annoying me it looks so good when it's wet and when it dries it's like freaking just falls off your face i'm gonna quickly go on top of this with a liquid liner and then lashes and i'll be back Ugh. okay guys so i managed to get the liquid eyeliner on but this is literally crumbling as we speak right now so i'm just gonna like let it chill there for a second before i just flop down on the floor so i'm gonna go in with some lashes this is sophia by huda beauty okay guys so now i've got my lashes on oh my god don't lashes just finish off the whole look i love lashes if you don't wear fake lashes who are you? You need to, because once you do, you're gonna be fucking addicted. So obviously now we're gonna move on to my lips. You can even go for like a really nude glossy lip because the eyes are like so sparkly. I think a really glossy lip will look really nice with this. But because it's autumn and because this is a YouTube video and it is a tweet tutorial, we are gonna go extravaganza, baby. So I'm gonna go for the Morphe X Orpha, but this is called vinyl and it's like a really nice, it's just a really nice color, guys. It's really nice for autumn. It smells really nice as well. I feel this like the perfect autumn shade, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I finished it off with this Diamante stick on choker. Yes, it's a sticker, guys. Look, look at all this neck rolls. Oh, bitch, oh, bitch. It's from this brand called Go Get Glitter. I know the packaging's gone, but yeah, it's from a brand called Go Get Glitter. And you literally just stick it on, and then you can just unpeel it all in one go at the end of the night. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. There were so many things that went wrong with it, but I would appreciate if you guys showed me down below what you guys thought of this tutorial. And also, please subscribe before you leave. Please, I upload on my channel twice a week, every Wednesdays and Sundays. Also, follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X, Twilly, or Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy the bloopers. Bye. Oh, I've got something stuck in my braces. So we're gonna do. So today we're gonna to be doing a really bronzy kind of atomic. Fuck's atomic eyeshadow. Going. <laughs> Why are you not silent? Two phones, guys. Oh my nose is itchy. The struggle's real when you can't itch your nose because your foundation moves. The diamond it just fell off, bitch. Oh, what the hell is up with that? Oh, bitch. I just killed someone in jail. Oh, ow. Oh, bitch. I just killed someone, bitch. I feel like a little Wayne, bitch. Little Wayne, little Wheezy. Is that his name? I don't know. I'm trying to be cool. Oh, shit. It's sticking to the back of my neck. It's sticking to all my little baby hairs. Oh, but look at that neck. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So sexy. Oh my god, I'm bleeding everywhere. Bleeding diamonds. Diamonds are forever. Mm. Ow. Bitch, you better work. Better work. Oh my god, did I shave my armpit?